Welcome to Chopped. Today's judge is Francis Beasley from the restaurant 2350 in New York City. I'm Chef Lauren Lindsay from Chef. Lindsay's Bistro in Chicago and I'm going to win because I know I'm the best. Hi, I'm Elizabeth from New York City from Little Cafe and I'm going to win because I'm going to use the money to build my dream kitchen. Y'all will have 20 minutes in the appetizer round. Please open the basket. Green peas, hot sauce, avocados, bagels, waffles, and spinach salad. Starts now. Go. Lauren's going to the pantry. Elizabeth's cutting an avocado. Okay, we got this. Come on, girls. the fridge what is she gonna get hmm so Elizabeth what are you thinking today what what are your ideas and thoughts about what you're gonna make like what kind of cuisine what kind of dish I'm thinking making some type of breakfast Right. Because we have bagels mm -hmm. and like waffles here, so I'm thinking. Good idea. What about you, Lauren? Crazy trainer. I might do some kind of salad with the baby spinach leaves and mm -hmm. peas. Good idea. It looks like Elizabeth's already plated. Wow, I mean, they still have 15 minutes, so no time to waste. Still use your creative minds. Elizabeth, what are you doing right now? I'm trying to make a salad with some fruits and maybe some peas in it. Mm -hmm. And maybe some apple. Sounds good. What about you, Lauren? I'm chopping strawberries for my salad. Okay. It looks like they still got the waffles left. What are they going to do with them? Y'all have 10 minutes remaining. 10. Oh my gosh. Y'all better start thinking about what you, how you're going to play. Elizabeth's in the pantry. We got seven minutes. Go seven minutes. Get. Come on, girls. You can do it. It's like Elizabeth's almost plated everything. And Lauren, too. Elizabeth looks like she's done. She still has five minutes remaining. Do you have any other ideas, you know? Like, this is a lot of time, you know? Make sure no. everything's perfect, you know? Because you think, could add something and it could change the competition itself. I think as a everything whole. That, that was in the basket that you used. So Are I you think sure you use good. every single ingredient in a way that you want to use it? Yes. All right. Lauren's still cooking. She gonna make it. Okay, time's up. Bring your dishes to me. Okay, let's see. Lauren? Here. All right. So tell me about your dish. Well, I have a spinach based salad and I chopped up. I chopped up strawberries, and I put a raspberry vinaigrette. <laughs> um, I put pecans, and I made croutons out of the bagel. Okay. Okay, I like all the texture in the salad. I like the crunch factor, you know. <laughs> and I like the sweetness. <laughs> it's a good idea, you know, to use this salad. A lot of people, if they were getting salad, they're going to do this. Um, I'll say... 
So I see that you got every ingredient on the plate, so that's a good thing. Okay. That's good. Let me try this. What's on this um, crouton? Um, yeah, I chopped up the bagel and I put, I lightly spread some butter and put salt and pepper and paprika. Okay, I like the flavor, but they're kind of soggy. So, um, if they're croutons, croutons are supposed to be kind of hard, you know. So, that's just one thing about mm -hmm. it. Um, I like the strawberries in it. And, so are these supposed to be croutons too? Um, it's just, it adds a, another ingredient to the salad. Okay. Peas, are these peas in here? Yes. Okay. I incorporated the peas. Like, I tried to, like, incorporate it into the dressing. Mm-hmm. Good idea. Okay. So, it's kind of soggy, you know, the dish. A lot of flavor, but I think you could have like, used a, le a little less dressing. But overall, it was pretty good. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. What is your dish that you prepared? Uh, I made a berry salad okay. with peas Another and salad, sauce okay. on it. And a bagel with avocado um, spread with mm -hmm. egg on it. And on the side, it's a waffle with um, honey in it. Okay. I like all the flavors you incorporated. The sweet and the hot, you know, that's a good idea. Okay. This is a good idea. Let's see. I don't know how that tastes. <laughs> how that tastes kind of weird. Well, I mean, I like the egg in there, the fried egg, okay. A lot, kind of like a lot of bread right here. Maybe I would have like used a little less, but it's good. And um, I like how your salad is not as soggy as this other salad. So yeah, that's... I was afraid I put too much sauce in there or something. Well, no, I no, no, it's good because like the sweet flavors from the fruit kind of balance the hotness out from the salt, hot sauce, so it's good. Um, yeah, my only concern is just a lot of bread on here. And it's, it, maybe you could have toasted a little bit to get a little crunch, crunch. but overall it was good. Man, I really, I don't know how I did. Yeah, me too. My salad was soggy. I hope the next round is better for me. Yeah, I think the bagel with cheese, I mean, not cheese, egg and that, I think that was too much. Okay, down to the chopping block. Who is it gonna be? Lauren or this Who is it gonna be? And the person chopped is no one. <laughs> I thought y'all's dishes were like tied, so I'm gonna keep y'all for the next for the final round. And this round will tell me who will be chopped and who will be the winner. So alright, so the next round is the dessert round. We're to the last round, the dessert round. So please open up the basket and see what the ingredients are. Graham crackers. Don't go so fast. Apples. Black cherry preserves. Baking chips. Ground cardamom. And apples. Okay, y'all will have 30 minutes for the dessert round, and that round starts now. They're rushing around, grabbing the pot. Elizabeth, what are you thinking about doing? I'm thinking making some, like melting some chocolate, and dipping it in apple, okay. and somehow put it in the graham cracker with the jam. Mm -hmm. uh, Seasoning. What about you, Lauren? I am thinking a nice ice cream sundae mm -hmm. with butterscotch, um, butterscotch syrup, like on the ice cream. Yeah. And okay. Nice with the apples. All right. They got 30 minutes in this round. Okay, I think I can do it. She melted some chocolate, okay. Butterscotch in there, okay. We are back to cooking after Lauren cut her finger. We got this, y'all, we got this. 25 minutes left. 20 minutes remaining, and Lauren over here looks like she has some apples with some, what is that on the apples? 
And then Elizabeth's going to the freezer and grabbing, she's freezing something. What are you freezing? It's um, apples covered with chocolate. Oh, and okay. Wow, okay. So I hope they will be creative in this round and show them that they really want to win. We got 10 re minutes remaining. Elizabeth looks like she's mixing up some jam. Lauren is mixing also some jam over heat. So I wonder what they're doing. And then she has, ooh, some butterscotch in there. All right. Five minutes remaining. Elizabeth is putting, ooh, some apples onto her graham crackers. Yummy, yummy. And Lauren is thinking. She's rushing to the freezer. What is she going to grab? Looks like Elizabeth's done. Where are her desserts? Where are they? I put it in the freezer so the ice cream will melt when I put Okay, are they all ready? Prepared? Yes. Not prepared. You're done. Okay, done. all right. Lauren is putting some finishing touches onto her dessert. Yummy yum. Okay, we got a minute left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, I'm slow. two, one. Okay, this is the dessert round, and present your dishes to me, please. Okay, what is your dish called today? Um, it is the ice cream sundae something. Okay, I lined it with apple slices, mm -hmm. with cinnamon and sugar, and then I put a scoop of um, vanilla frozen yogurt in the middle, and I melted some butterscotch chips to make a nice butterscotch syrup, and I added um, crushed graham crackers on the top, and a nice fan strawberry. Okay, using your culinary skills right there. All right. Um. I like the flavor of the ice cream with all like the berries and stuff, but I can't really taste the butterscotch. And that was one of the ingredients we needed to incorporate. I like all the, the presentation was really nice and the color was beautiful, you know, and I'm really liking this frozen yogurt, you know, but I just hate that I, that flavor wasn't shown and that was one of the ingredients needed, but thank you. Okay, Elizabeth. What you have there is chocolate covered um, frozen yogurt with um, sliced almond on it and with um, some jelly at the bottom. And inside is graham cracker, graham crackers with chocolate covered apples with um, peanut butter on top. Peanut butter on top. I really like the texture, like with the almonds. And the, thank you for let me taste this chocolate on here. The semi-sweet chocolate chips. It was very good. Okay. Let's see what this is. I like your presentation too. It's really nice. Thank you. Okay. Really nice. I like the sour apple along with all the sweetness. It helps balance out all the sweet flavors. Um, and I'm, I'm glad y'all both got your dishes ready in time. Um, it's a good dish overall. Okay, thank y'all. I think I did a lot better this round than the last round. I think I'm gonna win. Yeah, I think this round was much easier because, you know, just dessert, you know, sweet stuff. But, you know, I really need this money because I really want my dream kitchen. Well, I I'm gonna win because I've had a lot more experience and my restaurant in Chicago is better than, better than yours. This is the final round of Chopped, and we got two contestants left, Lauren and Elizabeth, and one of them will be Chopped today, and one will win $10,000. Who will it be? And the winner, or <laughs> the winner of Chopped is not... I knew I was going to win.